General Manager Steve Wright says 2017 and 2018 were the PUD's best ever financial years. In a recent interview with NCW Life News, Wright said that 2019 will likely continue that trend. He says that wealth is being used for actions that should maintain the county's competitive advantage for long into the future. There are always issues on the cost side as well. Uh, we've had uh, unexpected breakdowns of units uh, at Rocky Reach and Rock Island. Uh, we're in the process of working on those and really focused on the mantra that comes from our board to create the best value for the most people for the longest period of time. Trying to make sure that when we put fixes in place that we're not putting short-term fixes in place, that we're putting bigger fixes that will work for a long period of time. Uh, and that's why our capital budgets are increasing. Um, you know, our cap capital budgets are up substantially from what they were just four or five years ago, coming out of the strategic plan. Uh, it's, the strategic plan said we want to invest in our assets, and so you can see that in our capital budgets. And this is why I say it's so important for customers to engage with us in this process, because strategic plans do really matter here at Chelan PUD. You can see it in terms of what we've done over the last few years based on the objectives of the last plan, and we fully intend to be just as committed to implementing the highest priorities coming out of this plan. Over the next five years, the PUD plans to build seven new substations and expects to adopt smart meters that will help reduce outage time while at the same time providing customers more and better information. So many people today live on their phones. Um, certainly my kids live on their phones. I watch them every day in terms of what they're doing. Uh, you can't really engage with us very well today on your phone. Uh, you should be able to. And what we want to be able to get to is a place where you can pay your bill online uh, using your phone, using mobile apps of some kind. Uh, and in addition to that, we expect to be rolling out smart meters over the course of the next couple of years. And those smart meters will allow us to be able to understand better what's going on at your house, particularly when you have an outage, so that we know when you have an outage at the same time you know, and not after we wait for you to call us. Uh, that will allow us to restore service more quickly and it uh, allows you to better understand what the outage restoration time is likely to be because we can get that up on an app very quickly. It's going to take us a few years to do that, but that's all within the time frame of this strategic planning period. The plan also proposes rate of inflation level rate increases to protect against downside risks, such as price declines in the wholesale power market. Two open houses are slated for Thursday and Friday in Wenatchee and Leavenworth, respectively. That's where customers can comment on the draft plan. Commissioners are slated to take final action on October 7th. Steve Hare, NCW Life News.